Ford positive. Here comes Marner. Fire and scores! It's 47 seconds in! Hello everyone and welcome back to Jab NHL Vlogs. And in today's video is a post-game reaction video from the two Leafs games I went to back on October 14th and October 16th, 2023, against the Minnesota Wild and the Chicago Blackhawks. But before we get to this one, I want you guys to please leave a like on this video, subscribe if you're new, hit the notifications, leave your comments down below if you guys have any thoughts on these games I went to, if you guys are at one or both these games, any other thoughts or feelings you guys have in general on this post-game reaction video, feel free to leave a comment section below. I'd like to hear you guys on there. Alright guys, let's just jump right to it. So first of all guys, I'm going to be talking about the first game I went to back on October 14, 2023, last Saturday against the Minnesota Wild. So we're going to start with that one. Yep, uh, this game was pretty good. Overall, it was really nice. You know, finally, my first time back at Scotiabank Arena for a while since April 20th when I obviously we played the Santa Cup playoffs against Tampa Bay Lightning. And that was a really good game as well. And yeah, you know, come back to Scotiabank Arena for the first time in a while. Not much has changed, you know. It's so, it's so good to be back, you know, it's finally good to be back in the building. Yeah, it was awesome to be back there for the first time on Saturday night. You know, Hockey Night in Canada, you know, Leafs were just wild. You know, wild, a team I've never seen before. Now, of course, I have seen them because of the post-game reaction. But, yeah, another team off the list. Really cool. Ryan Reeves and John Klingberg's former team. And, yeah, overall, it was pretty good. You know, good matchup. You know, I'm surprised Mark andre Fleury did not get the serve from Minnesota. They went with Philip Gustafson. That was pretty surprised. I was actually quite surprised they didn't do that because the Leafs are actually a decent team. So quite surprised they didn't actually go with Mark Andre Fleury for that game. But but I mean overall really good. And also I like that new sign that they have at the um, at the bar over there in the three hundred level. It's actually really cool. It's like Coors Light. And they have like a bunch of beers bottles on there. It's actually pretty cool. You guys saw it in the vlog. It's like a nice neon light with the logo on it. It looks really nice actually. Yeah, they did a good job with that bar over there. It's like called Dright Deck. I think that's what the name of it is. I'm thinking of Rogers Center. I almost said like Corona Bar. I'm thinking of Rogers Center still. Still kind of transitioning, but yeah, the Coors Light logo. It looked pretty nice. I really like the logo. Actually, that's probably the major change that I've seen. But mostly everything else, pretty much the same. I mean, not much has changed from last year in the building. Apparently, there is supposed to be some renovations going on, though. But there's actually something I did notice on TV that looks a little bit different. It even on the scoreboard light. It looks like... like the ceilings on, like, the suites look a little bit different. They might have actually updated their suites over there. That might have been actually something they did actually work on. So, I mean, that's pretty good. It looks a little bit different over there in the boxes now. So, I think they might have done a little bit of work there, if I'm not mistaken. But, I mean, overall, really good. I mean, not much has changed the Scotia Green over the offseason. Maybe next offseason, I think they might be planning to do a little bit more. But, and also the pizza deal came back. Yes, the uh, score slice, score for us first period. Pizza deal came back. Unfortunately, I did not get it in this game, but actually neither one of these games I didn't get it. But yeah, I mean, it's kind of good to have it back. Also, the Popeye's chicken deal. We actually redeemed it. You guys saw at the end of the vlog there that we actually did go redeem the chicken nuggets because we did score a power play goal. And you have to at least score a power play goal. It doesn't really matter what period I think as long as you score a power play goal. Then the next day at Popeye's, if you get a free large drink, I think. Yeah, I think any large drink. They got free eight piece chicken nuggets. So, I mean, that's another deal. So, those are mainly the two food deals like score first. Yeah, you got to score, they got to score first. So, first period for pizza. And yeah, unfortunately, they, they, they did not do that in either game. But I mean, you know, it is what it is. Here comes the slump again. But we will see. Hopefully, uh, next time I'm at Social Bank Arena, they'll do it. That will be my hope, anyways. But. You know, overall, uh, building's looking nice. You know, it's pretty good. Uh, nice new intros as well. Yes, also got to mention those light shows. They look really nice. And Ryan Reeves had a good fight against his old team as well. Yeah, he even fought Marcus Foligno. I think they even had, like, a fight before. Like, when Reeves was in, like, with the New York Rangers. I remember that, actually. Like, the New York Rangers fight he had with um, Marcus Foligno. And then they did it again on Saturday night. And then they were teammates at one point Minnesota, and then it changed again because, I guess, Reeves left. And there was actually a lot of fights in this first game as well. There was a ton of fights. I mean, I'm telling you, a lot of fights in the first game, especially because, I don't know, I guess it's just because Reese has bad blood with them. Because I mean, so they're, I mean, they probably feel a little bit bitter about it because it's like, you know, he used to play for Minnesota. He doesn't play there anymore. And I guess that's why a lot of, you know, controversy went down, you know, there. But overall, really cool. I like the new intros. Yeah, new light shows, really nice projections on the ice. Like, really nice. And yeah, I mean, the Leafs coming out, really cool. And yeah, it was fun. You know, overall, really good. They kept most of the stuff the same. And yeah, also the goal sons as well. 
With, with this game, this was actually probably the best new goal song that came out with so far. It's like, it's almost like the Avalanche song. I know a lot of people are saying, oh, the, they copied the Avalanche, but they really only use it for one game so far. I wouldn't say that they copied them yet anyways, but it's like the same thing, but just faster, you know? It's like basically the same thing. And they might have added like a little bit of something to it as well. It seems like they added like their own beat to it as well, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong, but it sounds like almost like a remix. It's like really good. It's like, hey, 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 good chance. At least you got a chance song. Actually, we need a chance song like that. If we if we if you're gonna change the song to anything, you gotta make it a chance song. That's definitely a good one. I mean, they gotta keep that one. I think out of any of them, I think I would be going with that one right now, but it seems like they're changing it every game to Cole song. It was so much easier when it was just Hall Notes, you know. They just kept it. I mean, they didn't get rid of it. They didn't touch it. They didn't do anything with it until, of course, this year. Just, you know, a few days ago. Very basically just a week ago. But, yeah. You know, it is what it is. I mean, Hall Notes. I mean, I still kind of miss the song a little bit. I know a lot of people are like, yeah, it's gone. Thank God. But, I mean, I don't really blame you guys. I mean, it's been a long time coming. I mean, seriously, it had to go at some point. I mean, I mean, come on. Now it seems like we're changing the song every game. I mean, like, come on. Just pick one, guys. Just... It's not that hard. Just make a main song, make a next gen song, like you were saying, right? They were saying next gen, and then obviously a St. Pat's song, of course. Keep that, but yeah, I mean overall, I mean pretty good. The song was pretty good on Saturday night, and yeah, it was great. Saturday night, Hockey Night Canada, really fun game. And it was a great game. But anyways, guys, uh, for this game now, I'm gonna get into the actual scoring. So let's get into it. Yeah, this might be a long video. That's why I'm just gonna keep it brief for the actual overall thoughts and feelings. So. We're just going to get into it because there was a lot of scoring in this game especially. So, let's get into it. So, let's start with the final score. So, the final score was, and the Leafs would end up taking the win in this game in pretty dominating fashion as well. It's probably the best home game of the season so far anyways. It was a great game. And the final score was the Toronto Maple Leafs 7. 7 goals and the Minnesota Wild 4. 7-4 victory for the Leafs. 11 goals in the game. Wow, what a what a start, huh? First game of the year for me, already seven goals on the board. I'm like, wow, that is awesome. That is absolutely amazing. Yeah, they played amazing. Leafs did outstanding. Samsonov got the certain goal. He did amazing. Did, yeah, a lot of great stops. I mean, he was a little bit meh. Sometimes, I mean, mainly in the second period, he's been like, I mean, he made a lot of great saves. So I'll keep it in. Like, they, he, he was literally the reason they won the game on Saturday, I'm telling you. Like, you know, they're letting Minnesota get too many chances. I'm telling you, Leafs, you know, Leafs can actually give up a lot of chances right now. I mean, they are. They got to fix up their defensive game a little bit. But they're lucky Samsonov has been there for them, and he's been doing really well. So, you know, I got to give a lot of credit to Samsonov. But, yeah, it was a great game. 7-4, 11 goals. It was crazy. It was wild. It was a wild. Pretty much the whole night it was pretty much good. I mean, I, I mean, the second period was a little bit meh. A little bit concerning, but I mean, the third period and the first period were amazing, I'm telling you. First and third periods were really good periods. And yeah, it's going to be, you know, it's a lot of scoring, but you know, it's good. It makes it more fun. I really like, I'm actually a guy that likes a lot of goals in a game. So it was awesome. Seven goals already. Great start, Leafs, I'm telling you. Offense, or at least for the first two games, were really good. So yeah, it was fun. On Saturday, 7-4, it was amazing. I mean, honestly, what a win. And, yeah, what a great way to start my season, you know, to put my Leafs record at 1-0 and the whole season on 2-0 because, obviously, we're going to count the Carolina game, too. So, basically, 2-0 and after that game. And it was awesome. Great start to the season. Another good game for Leafs. I got to see in back-to-back games. I'm seeing them score seven goals, which is pretty awesome as well. But, anyways, guys, without further ado, let's get to the actual score of the post-game reaction. So, let's do it. So, Starting with the first period, Minnesota would unfortunately open the score in this game in the first period, so no pizza slice already. It would be by Ryan Hartman. Uh, yeah, that would be his first on the year. Assist was Brodeen, and Kaprizov got the assist as well. Yeah, Kaprizov. It was actually really cool to see him as well. That made a one nothing Minnesota. Unfortunate. I mean, that was pretty rough. But, I mean, it is what it is. one nothing. And, yeah, what was funny about after that goal, the fans were still cheering anyway. They were still, like, saying, go, Leafs, go. Because they were doing a chant right before the goal. And then after they put it in, they're still, like, chanting. They're like, go, Leafs, go. I'm like, what are you doing? We just They, we did, they just gave it a goal. I don't want to be cheering anymore. I started booing. Come on now. And there was actually quite a bit of Minnesota fans there, too. I was actually surprised there was actually quite a bit there for Minnesota. But, anyways, guys, uh, yeah, that would, yeah, that would make it a one nothing game. I mean, Hartman, I think you saw also play for Chicago, too, so it's a little bit rough there. But I won nothing Minnesota. And then next up, at least we'll be getting the next goal. And this one, it would be by Austin Matthews. Yes, Austin Matthews would get a, yet another goal at home. And yeah, he's been on fire so far in October. I'm telling you, the first two games, he's been on fire. And he get another goal here. 
in this game. That would be his fourth on the year. Assist by Mitch Marner. And that would tie things up at one apiece. Really good for Matthews. Honestly, he was struggling last year. And it was great to see him score. I mean, like, look, I'm like, ugh, I'm wearing his jersey right now. I mean, he was struggling last year. I almost for, I almost regretted getting this jersey last year. But, you know, this year, off to a hot start at Matthews. I mean, he's making that, you know, brand new contract look good so far. So, I mean, even though this is actually the last year of his previous deal, it doesn't even kick in until next year, which is even better. So, he basically got five years of Matthews right now. So, that's pretty good. And now tie things up at one. Moving on. Toronto will get the next goal in this game, uh, and it would be by Austin Matthews again. Yes, Austin Matthews will get yet another goal. His fifth on the season. The assist would be from yeah William Nylander. We get the assist. Pizza man. Unfortunately, he couldn't make magic happen this time with the pizza slice, but it is what it is. Now making a two-one game for the Leafs. Really good for Matthews again. Uh, fifth on the year, second goal of the game, and they actually did originally credit this to Tavares, and I believe this was also the power play goal. Or we won the chicken deal as well. But yeah, it was kind of close. I, I knew it was either Matthews or Tavares. I think initially I actually did think it was Matthews too. But yeah, they started with credited, yeah, crediting it to Tavares. They set it on the scoreboard. But then, uh, yeah, I was actually talking to Noah during the game as well. Shout out to you, Mr. Blue Jay. Noah telling me that it was actually Austin Matthews. Yeah, that's, that's good to know, especially if he scores a hat trick. But uh, <laughs> you guys will know in a moment if he actually did. But yeah, another goal for Matthews. Fed on the year. Make it a 2-1 game. And then moving on, one more goal in the first period. It'll be by William Nylander. Yes, William Nylander. Uh, he would get his second goal of the season. Uh, I'm not sure if I wrote. I don't think I wrote the assist on that one. But, yeah, I don't think I did. But, yeah, uh, anyways, I would make it a 3-1 game for the Leafs. Really good for Nylander, second on the year. Good stuff for him. And that would be a score after the first period. 3-1 Toronto. Really good. Almost like the Chicago Blackhawks game I went to last year on February 15th. Or last season, I mean, like, not last year. It's still 2023 when it happened. But, yeah, pretty much. It reminded me of that, pretty much, from that game. So, yeah, 3-1 game after one. Pretty good. Really good start. You know, feeling pretty good after one period. Yeah, that was a great period. But, anyways, guys, moving on to the second period of play. And at least we get the next goal in this game. It'd be by Tyler Bertuzzi. Yes, Tyler Bertuzzi. That'd be his first as a Leaf as well. Yes, that would be his first goal of the season. First as a Maple Leaf officially, he did score. I know he did score a goal against the Red Wings in the preseason, his former team, but that would be his first official goal as a Toronto Maple Leaf. So congratulations to Tyler Bertuzzi. And the assist would be by Yarn Croak and Morgan Riley. And that make it a 4-1 game. But hey, don't get confident. We know how 4-1 Leafs are. And yeah, unfortunately, that would prove pretty quickly. And you're literally just right after the goal. As they were announcing the Tyler Bertuzzi goal, Minnesota would strike right back with Matt Boldy, his first on the season, assisted by Zuccarello and I believe yeah, Addison, yeah Addison, and that make it a uh, 4-2 game. Right back, they literally just like strike right back. Like literally after Bertuzzi, they were announcing it, announcing it, yeah, Mike Ross was saying Tyler Bertuzzi, and then they scored. And then he was still announcing it after the goal. He still kept going after they scored the goal, and I never seen anything like that before. I mean. I mean, both goals for Minnesota were kind of weird, like with the fans anyway, not with the team itself. They just scored at weird times for those first two goals, especially. It was just weird with the fans cheering, like, only score, and then, like, Mike Ross announcing, still announcing the goal. He was, like, announcing the assists as they were celebrating Minnesota. But, I mean, it's what it is. One, uh, two goal game, four to two. And then another goal for Minnesota when they would get the next goal after that one. It would be by Marco Rossi. His first NHL goal. Yeah, I think that was his first NHL goal. Because I did actually look on NHL.com. Because they were celebrating that one pretty good. And yeah, that was actually yeah, that was actually his first NHL goal. That's why they were celebrating like really good. So, congrats to Marco Rossi. A little bit better sweet. And that would be his first goal of the season as well. First in the NHL. So, I'm, honestly, you know what? Congrats to the kid. I mean, you know, that's what you want to do when you get to the NHL. You want to score your first goal in the National Hockey League. So that's a big accomplishment for him. So congratulations, Marco Rossi. The assist would be for, by Marcus Foligno and Faber. And that make it a 4-3 game for Minnesota. Or no, sorry, a 4-3 game for Toronto. I, I, yeah, I put it as Minnesota because I think they scored a goal. I got a little confused there. But yeah, 4-3 lead for the Leafs. I mean, we're still up at a one-goal game. And that would be actually the score after the second period of play. 4-3 Toronto. A little bit close. I mean, we're starting to choke a little bit. I mean, at that point, I was getting a little bit nervous. When it was 4-3... A little bit nervous because they were starting to come back. And, yeah, anything was still possible. But, you know what? I mean, not giving up hope just yet. It's only a one-goal game. We're still up in the game. We're not, like, losing yet or tied. So, but, yeah, things are starting to get a little bit worrisome. That's for sure. A little bit 
Starting to get a little bit worried. But anyways, guys, moving on to the third period of play. I have to flip that over because the rest of it's on the other side. So let's move on to the third period. And the Leafs would get the next goal in this game, proving to be a big goal with 10 minutes left. It would be by Kelly Yarncroke, his first on the season. And the assist would be by Morgan Riley and TJ Brody. That making a 5-3 game for the Leafs. Great job for Yarn Croak. First goal on the season. I've seen Yarn Croak score a few times. Scored and saw him score that quiet goal in the playoffs. Obviously, you guys remember that. Saw him score against Philadelphia, too, in the next gen game, afternoon game. And he scores again here. I think this is my third time I've seen him score. Yeah, that would be his first on the season. Big goal for the Leafs. A little bit in nice insurance. Now we got a two goal lead. And yeah, next goal for the Leafs as well. Yeah, yeah. So moving on. Next goal for the Leafs. It'd be by Austin Matthews. And that would be. A hat trick. Yes, that would be a hat trick. His second straight hat trick for Austin Matthews. Six on the season. Assisted by Mitch Marner. Made it six to three game. And that was amazing. He was going crazy. He was like going, yeah. He was happy. The last two games, I'm telling you. Those two games, Montreal, Minnesota, Matthews was having himself a great time. And I like that. You know, he was honestly not submarine goals like that recently. I mean, especially last year. He was just like, yeah, whatever. I scored. <laughs> but uh, now he's like going, yeah. Like, he's actually happy he scored. I love that. You know, he was a little bit, he looked a little bit, like, angry after he scored a little bit. Probably because of the whole notes on. I know he didn't like it either, but but he was pretty happy after he scored that hat trick goal, especially. I guess the one, yeah, especially against Minnesota. He was really happy, I'm telling you. When I was there live, I knew he was pretty happy. It was pretty funny what they did on the scoreboard as well, like, showing people taking off their hats and all that for the hat trick. That was pretty awesome. That was pretty funny, but pretty awesome. It was great. Matthews, another hat trick, second straight game. It actually hasn't happened in a while. The last time that happened was actually Alexander Ovechkin in 1718. He did back to back hat tricks too. Nobody has done it with three games in a row yet. And Matthews, yeah, 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 he didn't do three in a row, unfortunately. I mean, but at least he did two games in a row, saying, there you go. Awesome, Matthews. And yeah, that'd be a second hat trick, six goal in the season. That make it six to three. And then one final goal for Toronto will be by William Nylander. Again, his second of the game is third on the season, assisted by Klingberg and John Tavares. And that would make it a 7-3 hockey game. And then we would have one more uh, goal for Minnesota. It'd be by Brandon Duhame. Yeah, it's first on the season. And that would be an assisted by Dewar and Middleton. That makes it 7-4, but at that point, it didn't really matter. The Leafs would end up winning anyways. 7-4, the final. Matthews obviously got a huge ovation after the Stars were announced, but... Overall, amazing game. Great start to the Leafs season for me. I mean, 7-4 to four victory. Awesome way to start. Anyways, guys, we're going to move on to the Chicago Blackhawks game now. All right, guys. So now I'm going to be talking about the second game I went to on Monday, October 6, 2023. I guess the Chicago Blackhawks. So now let's get into that one. So overall thoughts and feelings. Again, you know, another great night to go, honestly. I mean, Monday night. I mean, I'm not a huge fan of going to Monday nights for sporting events because, you know, it's only going to be Tuesday the next day that I still have four days left of, you know, school and all that. But, you know, I mean, sometimes you got to just do it. You know, sometimes you just, you know, you just got to do it. And, you know, the main reason why, and the main reason why I wanted to go to this game to see Connor Bedard, I thought he was injured. I know he did get hurt in Boston. Even my dad said he thought he got injured, but he was fine. I mean, he was playing in the game. It was really cool to see him, though. I mean, and yeah, if you guys don't know, he's the same age as me as well, just a month older than me, so... Pretty special to see Connor Bedard out there on the ice as well. It was it was pretty awesome. It was amazing to see Connor Bedard out there. And yeah, warm ups especially. I was you know you guys saw some good shots of him in the warm ups too. Yeah, I mean Connor Bedard. I mean he was definitely skating pretty well out there. He was getting a little bit banged up by the Leafs players as well. But yeah, I mean you know overall it was really nice. You know Richard Six matchup. Uh, two teams I really like. Obviously Chicago is no longer my second favorite team. I'm gonna say they're like my third team now to be honest. I mean. Kind of depends because they are still like a family team of mine. So, I mean, I mean, yeah, my grandpa was there with me as well. I mean, he's wearing Chicago Blackhawks here, obviously. It's a little bit of a family rivalry there for rivalry night for us. I mean, yeah, there was a, quite a bit of Blackhawks fans there, understandably. I knew there was going to be a lot more Blackhawks fans there. And you know what was funny, guys? I even thought, I even think I even saw the same guy. It was like a guy that I saw there last year with Blackhawks jersey. And then I think his kids like wearing like a Blackhawks jersey too, like his... Baby, but then his wife's like wearing Leafs jersey. I think I seen him there last year too. The same guy, yeah. So that was pretty funny. I mean, that was pretty cool to see him again. I, I could tell it was the same guy too that I saw last year, like last season as well. Just a little extra note. I don't know if this guy's watching it or not. What he thinks about me talking about him right now, but yeah, you know, it's a pretty good. It's a pretty cool storyline there. But 
Yeah, I mean, Chicago, Toronto, I mean, two teams. I mean, it's not really, I don't really hate the Blackhawks because my grandpa, obviously, but yeah, my grandpa was having some fun. Let's just put it that way. I mean, but overall, it was pretty cool to be there. Monday night, original six matchup, always fun, always great to see Chicago and the Leafs play in Toronto. And also, it was called Classic Night. Yes, it was called Classic Night. So it was basically like a throwback night. I thought they were going to bring back the old goal sign. I honestly thought they were going to bring back the Hall Notes goal sign for just the one night. Because it's called Classic Night, right? Because Hall Notes is a 1980s sign. And we're basically throwing it back. So we might as well throw it back for one game. But I guess not. But <laughs> I was actually kind of getting excited. I'm like, okay, maybe they'll play it. But no. Yeah, they decided to go with another goal sign again. It's like... I guess it's kind of like an old rock song. I don't know what the hell it's called. I don't I have no idea what the song is. It was okay. It was actually a little bit better. I don't know if I would say if it's better than the home opener one, but I mean, it was okay. I'm not saying it was terrible. I just didn't really understand what the song was or what it was at all. But yeah, I mean, it was okay. I mean, overall, I mean, it was all, it was a pretty decent night to go. I mean, Toronto, Chicago, always a great matchup to see live in person, you know, with my grandpa and everything. And yeah, overall, you know, just same thing. You know, I didn't do as much walking around the Scotiabank Arena this time. And also, one thing I forgot to mention, the Minnesota one. I actually got a signed puck as well. Yeah, I actually want to say this real quick. I actually forgot to say this in the last one. This is from the Minnesota game, by the way. So, just a quick thought about this puck I got. So, yeah, basically, they had, like, this, like, area. I think you could, like, yeah, you can buy, like, signed pucks. But it's a gamble. Like, did they give you, like, a few players that you can get? Like, either you can buy a signed puck a signed jersey, and there's one more thing. I forgot what it was. I forgot what the third thing was, but I know it's like signed jersey or signed puck, but the signed jersey is $400. So if you buy for $400, and there's a couple nobody leaves there that are like players that I don't even know, and there's even Alexander Kerfoot for the jersey for 400 bucks. and guess where he is now? He's in Arizona, and he's not even the most popular player on the team. Like, he's gone. Like, First of all, he's gone. He's not even playing with the team anymore, and that's a ripoff. 400 bucks, and it's like a gamble. Like, you really got to be, like, lucky. And I, I picked the sign. Yeah, we actually did get a signed puck for 60 bucks. I don't know who the guy I got. Grandpa knows him a little bit. My uh, dad kind of knows him as well. His name's, like, Mike Kor Korchinski. I don't know. It's something like that. Like, was it Korchinski? I don't know. I, I forgot. Mike Kor Korchinski. I don't know what his name is. But yeah, he, Grandpa says, he describes him like a David Camp kind of player. So I'm like, okay, I guess that makes sense. So kind of like a player that not everybody would know unless you're like from that time. But so basically, like, it's almost like getting a David Camp jersey, like maybe 20 or 30 years from now, basically. Let's, let's just put it that way. But I mean, yeah, he played in like the 1990s and stuff like that. But it's still really cool to get the puck overall. Maybe one day I'll show it on video. I might do some collection for that when I add a subscriber milestone. So guys, yeah, hit the subscribe button if you want to see that. But I mean, overall, I mean, yeah, back to the game I went to on Monday. But, yeah, overall, pretty okay, you know, pretty good. I mean, I didn't do as much walking around this time. But, I mean, overall, just a nice night to be there. Classic night, original six matchup. Overall, really good. But, anyways, guys, so let's get into the final score. And this one's going to be pretty quick. There wasn't very much scoring in this game, and it wasn't really a good game at all. Unfortunately, the Leafs would end up getting their first loss of the season. Yes, this would be officially their first loss of the regular season. They lost to the Chicago Blackhawks. Final score is Chicago Blackhawks 4, and the Toronto Maple Leafs 1. 1. Oh, my goodness. I've never seen the Leafs score less than 2 goals before. I mean, like, literally, this is the first time I've actually seen them score less than 2 goals. But, actually, yeah, actually, there was uh, actually a little bit of something that could have actually made it 2 goals for the Leafs. But I'll get into that later. But 4-1 final. I mean, it was tough. I mean, it was good to see my grandpa happy, though. I mean, uh... Quite a bit of Chicago fans there, but, oh, yeah, you know, it was good for them. You know, they had a lot of fun. I can tell they had a lot of fun. And, yeah, this video is going to be pretty quick. This part of the video is going to be pretty fast. But, anyways, guys, let's get to the post-game reaction. So, begin with the first period. No goals three point in the first period. And, unfortunately, again, no free pizza for me. They have to do in the first period. First, yeah, they score for the first period. So, no pizza. And, yeah, also, Joseph Wall got to start in that. Uh, and then, uh, Solderblom. I uh, got the start for Chicago. Both goalies were playing really good in the first period. I'm telling you, a lot of saves in the first period. A lot of good defense in the first period. And there was even a Noah Gregor fight with Connor Murphy towards the end of the period as well. Another thing to note there. Yeah, pretty interesting to see Noah Gregor in a fight. you think that'd be Ryan Reeves. But, yeah, but yeah, knowing Noah Gregor getting it done. I mean, I think he might be a pretty physical guy as well. I don't really know much about him. But, and yeah, you know, no good to see Noah Gregor, you know, stick it up for the team. You know, you know getting a fight. Really good friend. But anyways, guys, let's move on to the second period of play. And that's where the scoring would 
starts. So Chicago Blackhawks would score first in this game. It'd be by uh, Mackenzie and Whistle. That'd be his first on the season. The assist would be by Athanasiu and Kachuk. Kachuk. And that make it a one nothing game for Chicago Blackhawks. So yeah. And already Blackhawks fans pretty happy. My grandpa like went, yay! Of course. <laughs> he has all the Blackhawks gear. He has a scarf, everything. He has jackets, jersey, hats, everything. I mean, he was going... He was pretty happy. I mean, he was, like, clapping pretty happy. I mean, I like to see him happy, though. I'm not going to lie. I mean, Chicago hasn't been great, so it's always good to see him happy once in a while. But anyways, moving on to the next goal of this game. Uh, be fried by the Leafs. It'd be by John Tavares. That would be his first goal of the season. It'd be assisted by William Nylander and Mark Giordano. That tied the game at one. And that's officially his first game in the season, uh, first goal of the season because they credited to him in the last game against Minnesota, obviously. Uh, it was obviously credit to Matthews after, but that would be officially John Tavares' first goal on the season. So really good. I mean, John Tavares' first goal on the season. Obviously, I was wearing his jersey to the game as well. So it was awesome to see the score his first goal of the season. And I definitely picked the right game jerseys for both games. Definitely did a good job by picking Matthews for the wild game. And definitely a good job by picking Tavares for this game against Chicago. But anyways, 1-1 uh, one, one tie. And then moving on to the next goal. This would pretty much be the game-winning goal. It would be by Corey Perry. Boo! Boo, Corey Perry! Yeah, because we know the history. Tampa Bay, we really did not like him last year. I mean, they were pretty much booing him a lot, too. Again, that would be his first on the season. The assist would be by uh, Vlasic and Seth Jones. And that make it a 2-1 game for the Chicago Blackhawks. Really unfortunate for the Leafs. I mean, Perry, I mean, I mean, he's doing his thing. I mean, he, I don't know, man. Yeah, he, we just have a problem with Corey Perry. We just... We just don't like the guy. I mean, he's just not good. We don't like Corey Perry, but yeah. Uh, moving on. I actually did have to flip this. I actually did write pretty big on this. So, moving on to the next goal in this game. It would be also in the second period. Majority of the scoring was in the second period. Pretty much all of the scoring was in the second period. But anyways, moving on. Uh, Tyler Johnson got the next goal. Another former Tampa Bay Lightning. He made it a 3-1 th uh, game for Chicago. Third on the season. The assist by Athena Seal. His second point in the game. And Korchinski. That make it a 3 1 game for Chicago at this point. Pretty disappointing. And yeah, it's going to be rough to come back. But, anyways, move on to the third period play. There'll be only one more goal to report in this game. It'll be by Taylor Radish with the empty net goal. And that would make it a 4 1 game final. And that would be on assisted. I believe that was his first game of the season. I didn't write it there, but I believe that would be his first goal of the season. On assisted. And that would be all she wrote. 4 1 final. But at the end of the game, this was really weird. I don't think I've ever seen this on any hockey game I've been to. So, first of all, uh, the Chicago Blackhawks got a first empty net goal. The refs put on the headset and challenge it. No goal after review. And then with six seconds left, sort of, uh, William Nylander. I think it was William Nylander. Uh, he got the second goal for the Leafs. The quote-unquote second goal to make it 3-2. to two. But then, again, refs put on the headset. And they call it back for offside again. And then for some reason, like, we literally just left. I was literally, like, we just went to the wash and we were about to leave. But for some reason, I'm looking at the TV. I'm like, why is there an extra minute on the clock? Because there's actually TVs in the washing, too, if you guys don't know that there. But, yeah, I'm like, what? Why did they add an extra minute? And then I just went back. I'm like, okay, let me just go back to the aisle of my section, see what's going on. And then they scored an empty net. There you go. And then that was officially all they wrote, or officially all she wrote for one final. And it, it, it was a tough game to watch, I'm telling you, especially at the end. Wow, what a weird, weird way to end a game, huh? It was really weird. And also, um, yeah, yeah, um, um, I forgot what I was going to say. But, yeah, I mean, kind of a weird way to end the game. I mean, 4-1. 4-1 final. It was just tough. It was just a rough game, but good for the Chicago fans there. I mean, I mean, they traveled. You know, they came to Toronto. I mean, maybe most of them traveled. Maybe some of them from Toronto. But, I mean, they, they came out. They supported their team, and they won for them. So, got to give Chicago some credit. Also, another thing to mention for pretty much both games, especially... Chicago game. I was on the scoreboard. Yes, I was on the scoreboard. And I, there was like a dance cam on a, a Monday game. I almost didn't want to dance. I didn't really want to embarrass myself. But I'm like, okay, you know what? Let me get on the scoreboard. Why, why not? And then I started just dancing. You know, trying to dance and film at the same time. The, the shot might have not been great, guys. And I'm sorry. I was trying to get it the best I could. But I think I got a little bit of a good shot. I was on the scoreboard, guys. And I was, I was even on the scoreboard against Minnesota, too. Which is pretty cool, but I got a way better shot against Chicago. I mean, way better. I mean, pretty much the whole building saw me. Hey, if you guys saw me, shout out to you guys. If you guys were there, any of you guys that saw me, I mean, big shout out to you guys. Hopefully you guys see this video and now subscribe to the channel. But, you know, basically 20,000 people saw me. I mean, like, wow, I can't believe that. They actually saw me. 
Maybe the, maybe there was a subscriber there. You never know. Maybe the, maybe one of you guys subscribed were there when maybe you actually saw me on the scoreboard. But you know, I mean, overall both games were pretty good. I mean, obviously, obviously not as much on Monday, but Saturday was really good. At least the Saturday game was really good. Thankfully, at least I got to see a good game there. But it is what it is. I mean, Leafs lost, and there's nothing you can do now. I mean, it's in the past. Could have been better. Could have been worse. But anyways, guys, that's pretty much gonna do it, guys. Have a good day, guys. If you guys enjoyed it, I, I want you guys to please leave a like this video, scratch out if you do. Hit notifications, leave your comments down below if you guys have any thoughts on this game. So I went to. If you guys are at this game or at both of these games, yeah, at one or both of these games, any other thoughts and feelings, guys, have a job. All these post game reaction videos, feel free to say comments below. Let's hear you guys on there. And that's pretty much going to do it, guys. So have a great day, guys. And I'll see you guys on the next video once it being. It will probably be another announcement. Yeah, I don't really have any other footage planned as of right now. So it will probably be another game announcement, either for Leafs, maybe the Marlies, maybe the Steelheads. So I'll just look for yeah, Just stay tuned for any hockey announcements coming up on the channel in the future, in the near future. And yeah, that's pretty much good to do, guys. So have a great day, guys. And I'll see you guys next time. So go, let's go! Hopefully we can play better against the uh, Florida Panthers on Thursday. I'm, I'm actually recording this next year after I went to Chicago. I'm still trying to move on from that 4-1 loss. But yeah, hoping we can play a little bit better against Florida. Hoping, you know, we play better until I go to another game. But yeah, just hoping, you know, at least start, you know, play really good hockey down the stretch. Hoping they can uh, get some more wins, especially when they come back home after this long road trip that we're going to have. Five-game road trip, I believe. But yeah, you know, hoping that the Leafs play well. Hoping they win some games. Uh, hoping we can continue uh, playing well. Hoping we can get right back on track from Monday night. And yeah, just hoping that everything goes well, you know, for the whole season. And just hoping that we can make the playoffs. Maybe actually make a good run at the Stanley Cup this year. You know, hopefully we can get a lot of wins. But, yeah, we got to play good in the regular season, too. So, just hoping that the Leafs continue playing well. And yeah, just continue playing some good hockey down the stretch. And, yeah, just hoping that they can get better. But, anyways, guys, that's pretty much going to do, guys. Have a great day, guys. I'll see you guys next time. So, go, Leafs, go! And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out!